A U.S. soldier who bolted across the de demilitarized zone into North Korea used to live in Racine. That's according to his brother, who wished to remain anonymous. Officials from North Korea have not revealed what is happening with the 23-year-old Army private Travis King. For Fox News foreign affairs correspondent Greg Pelkett has more from London. As officials work to assess the diplomatic fallout, more eyewitnesses are describing the moment when Army Private Travis King crossed the border into North Korea. King was on a tour of the DMZ, despite being ordered back to the States for disciplinary reasons. Members of his tour group say he was quiet, kept to himself, and didn't say much. He was wearing a black t-shirt and jeans. Nobody even knew he was a service member. And when he sprinted across the border, the tourists and soldiers were taken by surprise. At first I thought, uh, like, what is going on? This must be some kind of joke. And then he didn't stop, and then at about that time, one of the American soldiers shouted, get him, and the American and South Korean soldiers chased after him. King was stationed in South Korea, but spent the past two months behind bars after fighting with locals and damaging a police car. Eyewitnesses say it's not clear if his crossing was politically motivated or an attempt to avoid more disciplinary action. North Korea is a more closed country than we know, but I think he wasn't aware of that. He must have crossed the border not knowing exactly what North Korea is like. He's now reportedly in North Korean custody, but Pyongyang isn't communicating with the U.S. The White House now reaching out through diplomatic channels, trying to determine if King's action was a mistake or a defection. The administration has and will uh, continue to actively work actively work to ensure his safety and the return of, uh, uh, of Private King. The incident came just hours after South Korea and the U.S. kicked off a series of meetings aimed at countering the North Korean nuclear threat. In London, Greg Palcott, Fox News.